<laughs> Is that loud enough for you? <laughs>
grammatical error. I'd better just go and ask her, approaching a small young lady by herself. I started to walk into a little thought. Hello there, you little... I mean... Yeah. Just as I was about to tap her shoulder, I felt something strike the back of my head. A big old dildo. Oh man, that was. Oops. What the heck is going on here? Mm -hmm. well, I'm at back in class, I was just outside, and... As I felt... What is that? As I felt... To... What? As I felt to an increasing degree that something was amiss, I looked towards the front of the room. The board on which the classwork would usually be written contained a single phrase. The words Why Hideck were written all over the whiteboard in black marker. Wait, is that other girl feeling the type of way? Oh god, no, Lerota! It's me, yes. Is this just a dating sim? I'm really gonna like fall out of my chair. Well, what's going on here? Is someone playing a prank on me? I need to get out of here. This place is making me feel uncomfortable. Screw this place. Why did I even come here? I walked towards the stairs and started running down. I fell down each step. What the heck? I continue running down the stairs. <laughs> How do I keep returning to the same hallway? That doesn't make any sense. That sounds like a creepypasta. This is not Honey Pop 2. <laughs> I... I keep hearing about that game until one day I googled it. And it was wrong on my part for looking at that smut. Wait a minute, is this... No, this is no one but you, but I bet you there's some form of X-rated crap on it. I looked at the other end of the hallway and saw someone standing there. Huh, I can't really tell who that is, but I see their lips moving and they're... Mm. Listen, I don't listen. I don't like smut. LaRota. They're talking to me. I can't hear them. I started walking towards a mysterious person. As I walked, I watched their expressions constantly change from that of someone laughing to an expression of anger to booze and then back to laughter. Why are you approaching them, idiot? No matter how much I walked away, I wasn't able to reach them. It was though I was walking in an endless hallway. Jussie. <laughs> no. Hey, who the heck are you? What are you saying? The figure didn't disappear momentarily. Only to reappear behind me. Reappear behind me. I could feel their off. No! Hold on. My hairband flew out. I could feel their breath running down my neck as I slowly turned around. Smut, bro. I know what you're doing. No, you don't. Mysterious ellipses person. Smut, bro. You better stop while you still can. What, fornicating? Ha! He says as the ellipses in my room. I'm in my room. Unbelievable. What was that, a dream? Great, just what I need. Like, one recurring nightmare wasn't enough. Are they supposed to be something, or are they just random? No, calm down, Hideki. Hideki. I'm sure I just worked up from all the crap we did last night. Breaking and entering. Oh. Did it snow in your, in your area? Was that a lot of snow? It did. I freak myself out by go going by going ghost hunting, and the dream was the price I paid. As I wandered downstairs, dressed for school and ready to go, I joined my mother for breakfast. It's still the same day. Wow, heady, heady, heady. You look even more tired than usual. It's so creepy. Put music, Jay. This is just ASMR. There's music! Oh, wait. Is there music now? Is there music now? 
This music is gonna give me like some form of depression if I keep hearing it though. ASMR. Look, paper, watch. And a big ol' Why, Hitty, you look even more tired than usual, said Mother, as she glared up it on my brow. I just had a bit of a restless night, set. night, I guess. Really? You look like you sneaked out to go on a crazy adventure in the middle of the night. She has you. She figured it out. What? That's ridiculous. I would never. Calm down. I was just kidding, nerd. Any music? Oh, thank Christ. I got music. Get out of here! But this music kind of sets the tune. The tone. I'll keep it like that. Boom. And then. Bomb. I was just kidding. Yeah. I know. Oh, wait. I can't see the chat. But she certainly did. Okay. Certainly she did nail it. Anyway, I guess I'll be off now. Those tests won't eat themselves. Laughing my ass off. Alright, Hedy, I'll see you at dinner. Later, mother. Can you hear the music? When I reached my classroom, the first sight to grace my eyes was that of Rio and Shiro talking next to my desk. Why are they always loitering around my desk? There's the man himself, said the character. I love Hideki, said the green-eyed. Good morning, you two. Still discussing the paranormal. <laughs> After last night's awesome adventure, how could we not? Yeah, we're trying to solve the mystery of the midnight ghost. You, you did... Oh, wait, yeah, I didn't see it was the other girl. We should come to school at night again. Mm. Uh, you guys shouldn't give this school too much thought, especially the final approaching. <laughs> Who cares about finals? I guess you have a point. Even so, we shouldn't let this go. Yeah, the mystery still needs to be solved. Oh man, these two are just freaking dumb. No class is starting. I should return to my seat. Yeah, we'll talk about this later. She will only reverse return to their desks and sat down. With my desk not free, I decided to follow suit more moments before the teacher, mere moments before the teacher walked in. After surviving the entire lesson in a state of semi-consciousness, break time arrived before I knew it just break time. The classroom was nearly empty, leaving me, leaving only myself and the teacher who was working on some paper. Hmm, I guess I'll go to the cafeteria and grab something to eat. You have the option to stay in class. I never had that option. I stood up and started walking towards the door. My sultry voice is low because I'm rocking back and through. How's that? Can you still hear the music with that? Hey Dick, can I have a word with you? Said the teacher with his frothing lips upon my bra. Oh well, shit. Well, tarnation, I'm the devil fuck belly. fuck is Come that? Come on, y'all. Commence the jiggling. The jiggle? What the f Oh, fuck. That's another one. That one almost got me. But it's love. It didn't seem like you were listening in class today, nerd. Oh crap. We're about to have this conversation at some point. Should I just admit I wasn't paying attention? Tell the truth. Yeah, right. I think I spaced out for a moment there. I figured as much. I noticed that you haven't been paying attention to class recently. So I don't freaking care. I know you're new here and you made a lot of friends, but you seem too concerned about the moving from one person to the next. You need to think more about yourself, especially with the exam being so close. How many days has it been? I guess you're right. I'll try my best to focus more, sure. I'm glad to hear that. Oops. Listen, I have some boxes in my office that need to be moved to the literature club. Can you do that for me? That sounds like you're trying to get me in the closet where you can close the door behind me and diddle me. No, thank you. You know, it's interesting for me not giving you detention. You didn't have, you can't give me detention, sir, ma'am. I don't even know what this teacher is. Yeah, sure thing, teach. Nope. Friend whore? Great, thank you. Wow. 
Wow, these boxes are sure heavy. I'm reading it my way. Or the highway. Either that or... Wait, either that or I'm even more unfit than I thought. I opened the door to the club room. And there was the pink-haired girl. Upon entering the room, I noticed a girl reading a book next to the window. She didn't pay the door anymore. She simply continued reading. Wait a minute. I know that girl. She not... Shinatsu. As I called out to her, Shinatsu. I'm gonna call her C. Quickly turned to face me, wearing a confused expression as she did. Oh, it's this girl. What are you doing here? My teacher told me to move these boxes in here. I see. I forgot you were in the literature club. It seems like you're the only one here, nerd. Oops. Yeah, I'm pretty much the only club member. <laughs> there you go. Top notch reading skills. Listen! Don't be fucking rude. That's unusual. I didn't know they allowed clubs with only one member. Solo. Typically that's the case, but no one really uses this rule. But as you can see, it's mostly uses storage room and then all I need to engage in a club activity to your books, so wait a minute. So you you're in the literature club by yourself, so you choose to stay in the school and read when you can just go home and read. Unless she has some abusive home life or something other because she's either at home at this literature club thing or she's sitting on the bridge looking at the floor Shit. that one was loud fucking crazy <laughs> bitch i'm taking my hair out to dead read this i'm taking my hair out to dead read this ish don't be fucking rude Don't be fucking rude. I stopped the stream. That's what I do. <laughs> As you can see, uh, yeah, I went on my rant. Makes sense. Can I join the club too? I don't want to join the club. This isn't me. This is the man. Oh, you really want to be part of it? No. I'm your conscience. Me. It's me, your conscience. No, you don't want to do this. Reading is fun, but mostly when a quiet space I can relax in. Then go home! I mean, if you're okay with that. If you're at lunch, just walk outside and sit outside in the freaking... Seriously, I sometimes get bored being here by myself. Should. So it should be fun. Excuse me. Cool, what are you reading there? It looks like a short novel. Is that hentai I see? Is that Yuri I see? Is that Yao I see? Is that Guro I see? Is that Vor I see? It's called the Lone Universe, just like this one's called. Well, that sounds intriguing. What's it about? Hypocrite. Please explain. The story is about a little boy who wakes up only to find himself alone in a vast world. If you want, I can read some of it for you. I just started reading it myself. I can read, ma'am. I don't need you to read it for me. And it's Vendraco. The leader of the Dark Army himself appears. Oh, sure. He seems interesting enough. Okay, that black is up. Darkness, everywhere, no sign of light. Am I dreaming? Am I lost? It, sound like, it kind of sounds like his heat strokes that he has every morning. The boy slowly starts to open his eyes only to find himself alone. Lying on the grass in a huge field. How did I get here? The boy asked himself as he looked around. All the boy could see was grass and a couple of trees that you were miles off in the distance. There was nothing else. Why are you dying? He decided to start walking in a straight line, and he started to... He figured that he had to get somewhere eventually. And so he did. He kept walking and walking. Minutes went by, then hours. The boy noticed that it was getting dark. He had been walking for a very long time, you see. How strange, he thought. I was even thirsty, hungry, or even tired. Shouldn't you panic from the second that you see that, like, hey, there's a, I woke up in a field of nothing. He decided to sleep the night over and it was too, wait, how do I go back? I can't go back. Nonetheless, he decided to sleep the night over and it was too dark for him to see. He rested on the grass and closed his eyes as he slept. But if he didn't need to eat, then what the hell is he sleeping for? Is she dead? Dead ass? 
with big ass Timberlands. Just as the sun rose, he woke up and continued his small journey, even though he was getting annoyed, just kept walking. Chip peeped when, and soon after, he started thinking of giving up. There was nowhere else to go. You need to go out more, my fellow American. But as he took his final book, oh. But as he took his final steps before turning around, he saw a small cat, a small cat far away, and a silhouette of a person inside. That's not scary at all. And he became joyful. Maybe I won't be alone after all. The boy said as he ran towards it, flapping his brow against the trees. Is that it? Just when the story started to get interesting. <laughs> I take it that you like the story. I don't know. I want to know what happens next. It's okay. You're part of this club now, so you can come over whenever you want, or you can just give me the file of the book on 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 my Kindle. You're right. Just don't get ahead of the story without me. Lol. She's gonna read. She's gonna wait a whole day just to read one page, so you can be sitting there. Mm mm. Oh, don't worry. I won't read it without you. I'll just sit here and stare at the wall until then. Alright, cool, anyway, I have to go back to class now. Yeah, I'll do the same. I just need to tidy up a little in here. I'll see you later, Chin. Goodbye. School is pretty liberating. After school ends for a day, I began making my way home. I felt an ominous presence sneak up behind me and diddled me. Oh, great, it's this one. He coon. He coon. Hey, Megumi. You fucking Lola. Lolly, that's the one I was trying to not Lola. Is it weird that her death shriek is no longer phases me? Oh, she actually does shriek it. Hey, Hideki, I have a question about whom. Well, I was wondering, could I come over to your house tonight? The fuck you cannot, ma'am. What? Where did you get that from? I knew Megumi had a strip in front of it, but this is, but, but even, but even this is a bit much. Well, I was eavesdrop- what the fuck? I was eavesdropping and I mean I heard you talking to Sensei. And I was thinking I could tutor you. Oh, that song. Stop it, Hideki. You don't be so disappointed. This is a good thing, right? Right? It will only be studying, I promise. You can even invite other people if you want. I'm gonna make your life a living hell. A study group, right? Something like that. Sounds good. It should help my questionable grades. Awesome, I'll come over at 7. Is that okay? No, on a school night? You're out of your mind. I'd be getting home at that time. She's top heavy. Push her over. She... How tall is she supposed to be? That was a very good question. Just sweep the leg. Take her down. Yeah, sure. Great, I'll see you then. I have some things I need to do for her, so we'll meet up later. Alright, see you then. She disappeared. Grimming with excitement, McGoomy walk away. A steady group, huh? Although I'd rather not. Give my grade that she didn't really afford. I can't really afford to decline help. Isn't there a website for for quiz answers, Quizlet or something that she can just study? <laughs> Besides, you and I can't rule out the possibility of McGoom having ulterior motives. I can't fault her for offering to help. Ellipses. Find a place to hide your body. Obby. My body, Obby? But come to think of it, who should I even call? And for that matter, why my house? Oh. Let's see here. I shouldn't text Ryu. He doesn't seem to be very smart, quite frankly. More importantly, He's just distracting me from getting anything done because he's fun. I know, how about Shiro? I look up Shiro's name on the phone and started texting. Hey there, Shir Shir. What kind of a fucking. Shir Shir. Hi, Hideki. What's up? This symbol. How's your study for the finals going? Hey, honestly, I haven't started yet. Then you wouldn't mind joining the Gumi and I in a small study group? Today? Yep. Uh, uh-huh. No. 
Why? You told me at the last second. What time is it? You didn't even tell the shine. She took a while to reach her phone this time. I thought she was asking them for approval. Sorry, I can't today. I have stuff to do. Ellipses. She's getting. Hmm. I was gonna say something very bad, but I stopped myself, you see? Oh, well, that sucks. I'm sorry. It's okay, don't worry about it. You'll fail, my ball. I'll see you later. Okay. Well, that didn't work. And she doesn't have a phone, so I can exclude her too. What? Why does she have a phone? She can at least have a beeper. She's really smart, but not best with people. Boned. Oh, well, I suppose it's worth a shot. Girl. Did he say girl? He did. Oh, wait, I should say. The message that I changed to scene, but five minutes later there was still no reply. Yui. Yui. I know you're seeing this. I'm always tempted to block this number. And why don't you do it? Angry face. JK, don't do that. What do you want, you? Hmm. Hmm. I forgot. Okay, bye. No way, remember. We're having a small study group today at my house, so you know what's up. What? Join us, duh. Pass. See, this this Yui girl is good, but then she's also, I think, Sundari, so she's gonna be evil at first, and then warm up to you later on, which you need to be a straight cold bitch throughout the whole relationship, ma'am. What? No. Come on, there's only two of us here. We can't study a group with just two people. I'll make us food and stuff. Alright. Well, that was fucking easy. You'll come? Yes. Awesome, come by my house around 7. You know the place. How does she know? Oh damn, that was easier than I thought. I guess you eat the sucker for free food. And <laughs> free penal. Whatever the case, there may be only three of us, but that should be enough to keep Megumi and I from losing focus and getting on other subjects. Hashtag. I should clean up before the two arrive. Look at him able to take a shower without having to lotion himself. Disgusting. Just as the clock hit seven, I heard a doorbell ring. Of course it's that bitch. Why is the moon out? It's seven o'clock. Why is it full like anime midnight? I'm gonna... <laughs> I better not. You sure are punctual? Wait, isn't the mother gonna be there? Oh, she's still wearing it. Did I come to Annie? Perhaps I should have waited. No, no. It's okay. Oh my, is Hideki embarrassing you? He always does that. What, mom? No, I don't. Ha, ah, it's okay. It's just how he shows his affection. You too, Megum. Come on. Anyway, come on in, Megum. We've been expecting you as she pulls out the butcher knife. Yes, right away, mother. Stop that! Paying me no further, Mama Gumi and my mother both headed into the kitchen. She said, "Mother." If I don't need better, I say this wasn't her first mating. Hmm. Is she? People who would be joining. If I thought mother wasn't. Yes, that. Think about it, you fool. Just go with the flow and everything will be okay. Oh, God. Oh, look at this kitchen with all this fucking wallpaper. Wow, I like what you did with the place. You don't know. You've been to this house before. That's what it is. Go with the flow, Hideki. This is a dream or something. Oh, my. Thank you. I could teach you a thing or two about homekeeping if you like. <laughs> no, thank you. I'll YouTube it. For when you take over, of course, if you catch my drift. Alright, mother needs to calm the fuck down. She, that's exactly what it is. My ass is dead. Yes, absolutely. Please teach me, mother. Stop. That's so freaking weird. Still, it seems like something is missing. Mr. Knight is not here once again. Who the hell is that? Did I say something wrong? I'm sorry. No, it's not fucking missing it before. 
Uh, my dad got got when I was a kid. Oh no, I'm sorry. That must have come out of a, that must have come out very rude. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's okay. Well, you're over here inviting her, making her head of the family already. Besides, if she's still with you, we might not have room for another family member if you catch my drift. Is he fat or something? If you're still here for me, I don't have one family for Yeah, I'm assuming he's fat. God damn it, mom. I catch your drift already. Or she means because she'll be here. Like mom said, just forget about it. Come on, let's go upstairs. I'll show you my room. I wouldn't even give her the satisfaction of going up into my room. We're going to the backyard. Okay. Don't make it here. Don't make too much noise if you catch my mother. Don't you dare finish that sentence. Ooh. So that's how you drive. X, that kind of makes sense now. It kind of makes sense now. His wallpaper is born. Yeah, all you have to do is divide by X value. Then you limit the ones that are the same. Idiot. Freak. Then you move X to the other side of the equation, and there you have it. Yeah, I said it kind of makes sense. Oh, she's here. How did he feel her presence? Who is it? It's you. Is she agrees to study with us. Oh, yeah, you said we can invite other people, so. <laughs> Ask Shiro first, but she said she couldn't make it. Yeah, ask Shiro first. So you get that through your skull. Really fancy that. Ha ha ha. Anyway, I'll be right back. Hmm. She does not not ever not wear her uniform. And this is my room. I didn't know the class representative was going to be in here as well. She, he left her alone in the room. I'm the one who suggested having a study group in the first place. Hmm. You could have mentioned that, bastard. Oh, I don't think it was relevant. Whatever the case, help us out on this one. You're pretty smart, right? Okay, let's see here. Oh, she's gonna make her look like a dumbass. No, Hedek, you just can't eliminate that from the equation. But it would make it so much easier. If you want the easy way out, just act the teacher. Oh, wait, just ask the teacher to fail you. Fine, so what do we do here? Excuse me for a second, I'm going to the bathroom. You might as well know because you know where it is. Bitch, make yourself at home. Bitch. Ah, ah. Megumi stood up. Okay, it's at the very end of the hallway. Megumi walked out of the room. She feels like gonna poop in the hallway or something. Hey, hmm. You promised you'd make us food. You're right, I should gonna make something. Good. I stood up and headed for the door. Hey, Hideki, what's the deal with her? You mean Megumi? What about her? She seems less annoying than usual. Maybe she's... Wait, what? Maybe she's still thinking about what happened before. What happened? I forgot to tell her that my dad passed away and things are a bit... Awkward. Oh. Yep, just like that. Real smooth, Hideki. I'll be back soon. Okay, so you're just gonna tell me that you're just gonna have two other people in your house just roaming around like it's okay? Ha ha ha. Don't grab with your bare hands, idiot. I'm way too impatient for this. Just put them on the plank, go to your guest. You've been down here for a while. Yeah, see? It's not my fault. It takes ages to make these. I'll head back up now. Careful on the stairs. She's gonna be dead, isn't she? As I approached my room, I can hear the voices of Yui and Megumi. I couldn't hear what they were saying, but I felt somewhat relieved that they were getting along in my absence. I can't tell what they were saying, at least they were communicating. With that cheery thought in mind, I opened the door, walked in, and there's gonna be blood. Hey guys, that brought some. Oh. Oh, is that what you think? You know it's true. You started frowning and acting strange the second I got here. There she goes. She calls her. She's like a laser. She went right into her heart, chest, breast. So what? That doesn't have anything to do with you. You can get out, ma'am. B 
Besides, you're the one who got here acting like you own the place. You didn't even bother to take your shoes off. Because I'm rude. You're always like this and you know it. No one bothers you. Yet you think you're above us all. Hmm. Girls, females. Well, excuse me that... Well, I'm sorry. Well, excuse me. I'm sorry that I can't be little Miss Perfect like you. I'll remember from now on to start hogging people and acting all fake around them for my own amusement. I never said it was perfect. And I never do that. Yeah, that's why you hang out with all the rich and popular kids at school. Oh, shit. She calls her ass a fucking gold digger. What are you even doing here? Isn't this place too lowly for you? She's getting in. Hey, Deki is my friend, whether you like it or not. These people aren't talk. These people you're talking about come to me. I don't go looking for them. Fake. Yep, fake. And by the way, at least I have friends with people to talk to, unlike you. This is exactly why nobody likes you. <laughs> Hideki probably. Hideki? I keep forgetting his name. Hideki probably just felt sorry for you. Such a, such a, such a radical cunt. I said that word on the street. Whoops. No, she, well, she left. Yui, listen. I want to hear Hideki. With notice, with notably less urgency, Yui followed suit after grabbing as many sandwiches as she could carry. Just take the whole plate. Seriously, what just happened? I thought those two were getting along so well. I really wasn't expecting that. Oh no, it's not your problem. This is a long ass day. So that's what happened. How weird, there didn't seem like any kind of people who would start a fight. I've never heard Megumi raise her voice before, let alone say something malicious. She's usually a sweet, gentle, loving girl. Mm, there's a lot of drama. There better be something actually Happening else. Something else happening. I'll worry about that remark later. I'm surprised myself. Those two usually never start fights. They barely even know each other. You barely even know them! It's probably because those two are from different worlds. Maybe. I'll go up to her room now. And I'll figure it out tomorrow. Mom. Oh wait, he was talking to her. So much for study group. I feel like somehow I know less about the subject than I used to. I'll, I guess I'll go study on my own after all. Or Google it. Skip it to here. Is that is there? That would be a big plot twist. It's a bit cloudy today. The weather has changed quite a bit since I arrived here. I've been here for almost two months now, and I'm still not used to anything. You don't know any of these girls, so I don't know. He's got two months here, and he thinks that he knows them. Like that bridge, for example. I like to go by there in order to see Chin, but with those nightmares in mind, I just. Should I swing by there anyway? I fucking guess so, so we can see the boring girl. Yeah, I'll go by the bridge. I can't keep running from my juice forever. Oh, Jesus Christ, the water. I walked over to the bridge and started to watch the water flow. Next to the river, river was Chin, who was sitting right beside it. I resisted the urge to call out to her and instead watched... As she sat there, feeling feeling the rushing river water running between her fingers. I don't know what it is, but I f have this weird feeling inside of me. It's a tumor. It's almost like, like I've seen this before. And your dream! Shin looked over at the bridge and noticed me standing there. She waved and started walking towards me. Hey there, Shin. Well, she, how short is that bridge that she can stick her hand into the water? Good morning. Have you been here for long? Stalking me, as you do almost every morning? Chilling chin that I've been standing here watching her might not be the best course of action. No, I just got her. I see, because I noticed you watching me, so, hmm, you're a liar. Hmm. 
What is it? I don't know. Something feels off about you today. She just saw through your lie. Or really? I wonder what it might be. The final time we'll see you, so I guess it stressed them out a little bit. Have you started preparing for them? Oh, the final time. Yeah, of course. I figured as much, you nerd. Yesterday I had this little study group with two girls from my class. It didn't go as... Oh, fuck. He told her. What do you mean? And you didn't invite me? Oh, well, he didn't have a phone, so... Then suddenly got heated between the two of them, and they both stormed off. I see. I wanted to call you and invite you over, but you don't have a cell phone. Yes, don't have. Don't have one. Maybe you should ask your parents for one or something. Stupid. Oh, my hair thing keeps falling out. Hold on. Still here. Go. I'll try asking them. I hope they didn't come out as pushy. Anyway, you were on your way to school, right? You've been using this path on and off for a while now. Well, you're here most of the time, so I come here. With the hope of seeing your dumb ass. Oh. That's under way more than it needed to be. Let's get gone. We don't want to be late. Here we are. Yep, we made it with time to spare. You just wake up early just to sit on the stupid bridge. I should head to class. I might come to the club today. Okay, if you do, I'll see you there. Yeah, goodbye for now. I'm good. That girl is really a man. And she can go to heck. Speaking span. Arriving in class slightly earlier than usual, I looked around for the classroom as sources of my aghast. <laughs> Megumi's sitting at her desk alone. Maybe she's studying. Yui <laughs> isn't here, probably in the courtyard as usual. Maybe I should check on. Oh my fuck. Uh. Anything to get away from that girl. I have time. Besides, it won't be nice to hear you said the story before I interrogate Megumi. She'd probably lie, so. Hmm. Yep, she's sitting on the bench like always. Instead of walking towards Yui. Hey, you very. Yui. Shh. No, no. Does she even like to? Why is she. Never in class. Who? Chin? If you're talking about Chin, doesn't she go to a different class? Nah. I noticed that you flying on her handheld gaming console. Oh, I never knew you were a gamer. In fact, I was beginning to doubt the very existence of the Larry Jerry, the legendary gamer girl with the U. And if any of my friends fit that description, it, it's Yui. She looks entirely focused on the game as though I'm not even there. God damn it, I was so close to getting a perfect score, but I couldn't because of my feeble, crinkled hands. I looked at the screen to try and figure out what game Yui was playing. Temple Paradise. You know it? Yeah. I'm not the best at rhythm games, though. Yeah, but well, she says she'll be in the club. How does she know? Because he goes on his break. Remember, they go on the lunch break, and he went there. I guess that's when they have the meeting. When it's break time, I guess. I could tell from the way you just made me lose, idiot fool, jerk, idiot. But that wasn't my fault. Sure was. She shut her down her console and put it aside. Are you here to talk about what happened yesterday? Because I don't have anything to say. Honestly, I am HL. I'm not here to interrogate you or anything. I'm just here to see how you were doing. Smart ass. I'm fine, Hideki. It wasn't a big deal. I served her. I sent her to that burn unit. So you're not mad at me? I will be if you keep asking me these super questions. Okay. Fair enough. I figured you wouldn't want to talk. This conversation has already gone 
far longer than I thought it would. Sleepy, more like pee pee. I've slept already, or at least passed out for like five minutes. I'm not sleepy. I'm gonna stay up till four in the morning. Despite you now. <laughs> Do you like her? Where's the hell no? Where did that come from? From literally the topic that they were talking about. That's where it came from. I see you hanging out with her a lot, so I was kind of curious. I don't know. I like being around her. She's pretty upbeat and fun, but I can't really tell if she has feelings for Wait. If I have feelings for her or anything. Don't ask me these kind of questions. You're making me all confused. That's the point. I'm, like, messing with you. Oh, look. There she is. There she is. She said that with a smile, too. Classic you. <laughs> You can mess with me later. It's time we go back to class. Are you coming? No, I still here. I'll stay here for a bit longer. Dude, the exams are literally days away. Can you really afford to miss this class now? I said I'll be there in a minute. I didn't say I was going to skip it entirely. Calm your chest, guy. Let's go back to class a deck. You're the one who needs them. Ah! Suit yourself. I'll see you later then, blind mofo. I waved goodbye, and I walked to class. I dabbed on the way, and I made it fast. Break time rolls around, and McGoomy was still at her desk, visionally writing notes off the board like a nerd. That was a lot of information, I can't believe. All of this will be in the exams. I got most of it down, but the teacher wrote down most of it before I had the chance. That's the worst thing when they used to do that. They just erase it before you can even finish, fools. My efforts are getting me no way. I should do something else for a while. To take my mind off studying. Hell no. Hell no. I guess I'll go. Hmm. Fine. I should probably pay attention. Ah, uh, no, I should have saved it. I should probably pay attention. Play the whatever visit. Walk through the hall. He's going to the club. There we go. Misaki Senpai. Wait. Misaki. What? You scared me for a second there. I thought you were uh, a hooligan. What's with the formality? I don't know. Just for fun, I guess. I walked inside after closing the door behind me, then sat on that couch. I didn't think I'd find you in the club room, so it's like, okay, straight after class. So you still beat me here. Seems like I'm possibly in the club. They probably are, because I don't see that. But that's the real reason that it looks like we're on the same floor as their class would be fucking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's try it. You said that as if you didn't already know. Of course I did. I was just messing you with you. Haha, ha, get it? I don't have a phone. Yeah. I should have seen that one coming. Yo, ch Oh, I think it's a yo. So, Chin. Yeah. Why don't we continue when we started last time? What? Did we do something last time? What the? When, what, how? I'm talking about the short story. Oh, Alone Universe? Yes, idiot. That make. These, oh, these freaking people. More sense than what? Chin walked over to the window, picked up the novel that was sitting right next to it. All right. Should I begin reading? Yes. Wait, let me get more comfortable. Okay, much better. Don't you fall asleep? Don't worry, I won't. How long is it break? Okay, let's continue. The board grew closer and closer to his distillation. As he got close enough, he started looking around. I bet you the boy in the book is him. La la la. Hoo hoo hoo. The cottage wasn't big, but at the same time, it wasn't very small either. It looked right to him. Just right. The boy walked to the door and knocked three times, but there was no answer. You know what I mean? Again, the boy knocked the... Oof. Again, the boy knocked three times. No answer. Just as the boy was about to leave, he heard the door beginning to unlock. 
A little girl was looking at him from the small gap between the door. It was Satan. I'm missing my phone. my phone. I don't know where my phone is. Hello there, little one. Do you live here by yourself, the boy asked, without, can he not sound creepy? Like, she shook her head as she did a little boy, and another girl came to the door. The girl opened the door, and the other boy, the girl who opened the door, and the other boy looked younger than me thought the boy to himself but the blonde girl the one with the hair is probably the same age as me if not one year older the three of us that live here said the blonde girl the boy told the three of them about his situation and how he was lost nowhere to go just walking aimlessly he came across a small cottage not knowing the reason why the blonde girl invited him in it and said he could stay for however long he wanted. That's fucking strange. Don't go in. The boy was confused, but at the same time, he was happy that he had found a place to stay and people to interact with. But he won't be liking it in a minute. The cottage wasn't very big from the inside, but four people could fit nicely in it. Some of the walls were patched up, and there was only one window looking out the back side of the cottage. Get it? The three of them had a table ready for what? The boy wasn't hungry, but there was something about eating food with others that made him do it. So he's gonna get poisoned. The boy was happy with the cottage. He liked the place and the people in it. And so he started staying there. But after time passed, he wasn't just staying. He was living there. It became his home. The four of them were so happy to gather. They would always play outside, run out the big meadows, only to come back when the sun set down. But when the sun set, why can't you just wear it? Why do I keep yawning? Only to come back when the sun set and gather on a small fire and take talking all night. What do you talk about if there's nothing to do? Many days and nights went by. They were having so much fun that they didn't even keep track of the time, but that didn't last. One day, the boy decided to go to sleep early instead of sitting next to the fire. And when he woke up, no one, to, no one, there were, nobody was there. <laughs> the boy walked over to the window and looked outside. No one was there. Was it still dark? And scary as heck. The cottage was empty and the wind was howling strongly between the wooden crack. For the first time, he realized how scary the place was. He walked to the door and went outside, hoping to find one of them. But he was the only one there. And that's the end of Act 2. We should stop here for now. Oh, what? Well, things were getting deep. I wonder what happened. They left it us. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? It sure is. I never thought this would be the type. Wait, what? I never thought I'd like this type of story this much. I knew you'd like it. Then you must know me better than I know myself, you big old fister. I hope so. There she is. I really... I'm really digging this whole club thing. You make it seem really fun. It's not a club if it's two people. It's a date. The bell already rang, so I should hurry back to class before my teacher loses it. I should do the same, but I have to tidy up. Watch. I'll try and see you later. If not, I'll see you after the exam. Good luck with your studies, idiot. I mean, Chen. You too, you too, you too, Hideck. Wave engines up. He goes back to class. By the time the school had already ended this for a day, I exhausted every fiber of my being. Writing down notes, worried about you and Megumi, st about stress and stressing out of the exam while everyone was taking its toll. This, this whole issue right there doesn't need to be stressed over. And this is in the same league as that. So you were just stressed about the study. Thank you.
Uh, as a result of the time I've written down all the notes for the day, I was literally, literally the last student to go home. Hey, mother. Oh, hey, Dad. You're home early today. Is it earlier than nighttime? Really? Oh. Really? I'm pretty sure I was at the very last student to leave school. Get out of here, paper. I want to kill somebody. I'm going to play... I'm going to say... Mm. Mm. A little bit more of this. And then I'm going to switch to Monster Hunter. Because... God damn this game. Uh, I guess it made... Wait, what? I guess it must be because I came straight home for once. You didn't go up with your friends today, you fucking player? I thought I'd spend the evening in my room. Oh, hell yeah. This song. Catching up on some pleas. You know what I'm saying, mother? The others are probably preparing for the exams anyway. You should do the same, you know, idiot. Yeah, yeah, I will. There is a lot of f freaking reading. I'm literally losing my breath. Uh, yeah, yeah, well. But the next thing on my mind right now is food. All the studying has me stirred. You love it. I know you love it because you love torturing me. <laughs> the studying you haven't been doing to me. Ellipses. Either way, you're right on time. Dinner will be ready in five minutes. That's not on time. That's five minutes freaking early. Go wash up and join me in the kitchen. Also, you know, mother, I'm going to take the food and run upstairs. Okay. After eating, I was about to say, after reading dinner with my mother, I returned to the bedroom. My bedroom. I promised I would study. But the second my head hit the pillow, my body had other ideas. I don't know why I'm so tired today. Maybe I should go masturbate for a little bit. Is the school board getting to me? Is it stress? Am I worried about my friends? Those are not friends. You only know them for two months. If your school were getting to you, these two things are stress, so you can cut that part out. Is he into his mother? Oh god. If this is a freaking incest game, I'm gonna delete it. And leave a strong worded argument kind of thing. Say this is disgusting and foul. Um, I don't know about friends. At any rate, all I wanna do right now is sleep the night away. It's like 7.30 for him. 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, Jesus Christ, we're fast forward. Whoa! Wow. You got me there, you freaking Gabba. As the days leading up to my exam period rapidly passed by, I found myself once again waking up without feeling refreshed in the slightest. Although my usual nightmares have kept that fair, the monster noted studying has ruined my life. Didn't uh, that whole freaking time the the exams didn't pass? I've been getting a little sleep lately. The summer break writing on the results of my upcoming exam, but that won't change anytime soon. Good morning, homie. Ready for your last day of school? What? What? May th what? Oh, spring break. Is it? I don't know. Last day of school. It would be if school wasn't being replaced by mandatory studying and exams. Honestly, who decided to give us a week off solely for the purpose of studying and only to then drag us back to our exam before our exam? Burn up. Oh, I guess it must be a, a, that thing. School has been tiring recently. And now the exams are here. I just want sleep to be over. Don't worry. It'll be over before you know it. Because you're going to be dead. You kids these days want to rush everything instead of enjoying your youth. How are they enjoying their youth if they have to be stuck in school? Ma'am. 
even though going to school is part of it, but you know my meaning. No, I don't want to rush my exam precisely so I can go out with my friends and enjoy my youth. No, I want to rush. Yeah, that. <coughs> okay, good point. You're really on the ball this morning, Hedy. All the studying must have given you super focus. Don't worry. It'll fade in a week or so, just like my haircut. I'm not sure how you feel about that. I want to, to do well, but it's also natural to see you so focused on something other than video game. Guess how little face does anybody really have in me? Not a lot. Anyways, I guess it's about time you GTFO. I don't want you to be late on your last day of class. I would be late. I wouldn't even go. If you say so, mother. I wish to eat. I finished eating and waved goodbye as I walked out the floor. There aren't many people here today because a lot of people cut class. You seem like the student that says he helps for something. At least that's what they're telling their teachers. Maybe I should have done the same. Maybe you should have did. Maybe you're not one of the smart ones. I bet you that girl wouldn't be there. Boring. Yeah, idiot. What the hell is this? Oh, the other guy. Uh, Hideki. Okay. Let's get out of here. What? Kasabara. I just remember. It's just a revision of what we learned before. Yes, idiot. That's what the studying is for. So let's just ditch it, go to the town and do something. Hmm. I don't know. We just read about this big stuff we're being Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna go because this is just killing me slowly. Just, just talking. Maybe something will get killed. Uh, I think I'll make an exception. I've learned all this before and I'm really, really paying attention, attention at this point. Yeah, I'm glad you feel the same way with my stock face and my replaceable features. I thought you were gonna be all responsible on me. Wait a minute. Hold on one second. Um, responsible or responsible? <laughs> oh, okay. I was about to say. for catching up on some hardcore Z's. That's what studying for. He's so stupid. So then you leave so that the teacher is like, oh no, they died somewhere. Perfect is not one of those plants, I can tell you that much. It worked, didn't it, somehow. So stop complaining and let's go to the mall or something. Okay. The mall again? Oh, look, there's a 50% sale. My foot are getting pretty sore. Let's sit down somewhere. Okay, I'll go get some cold drinks. Oh, great. Please don't tell me this girl's gonna come again. Alright, I'll find a table and wait for you. You're left to find a vending machine as I walked around in search of an empty table. This should do. I sat and waited for Rio. Man, we sure walked a lot today. Who could have thought the mall would have been more tiring than school? I probably would have fallen asleep if I stayed in class. So it might be for the best if we came here. Here you go. A glass of mint lemon juice for your favorite. How do you know? Thank you. How did you know it's my favorite? We're talking about our best booties. It's only natural and all this much. Is it? I don't have a clue what his drink is. I couldn't have said it any better myself. 
I did because I was like, it, either I'm having a stroke, he's having a stroke, or we're all having a stroke. Because I was like, that's not how you spell that. Couldn't have said it better, Marshall. Real small back and can you drink? He kept slamming down cold ones. So what are you going to do next? I don't know. Go ahead and continue walking around the mall. For what? Nobody wants to be window shopping. God, no. We visited a million shops. You still haven't bought anything. There you go. Of course not. I don't have any money for that. We're just looking. Sounds about right. Why don't we go to my place? The fuck we aren't. Excuse my French. What are we going to do there? Study or something? Haha, <laughs> study. That's a good one, Hitty. We should study instead of playing video games right now. Shouldn't we? We should have... We have a week to study for the finals. A little fun one for harm anyone. Good enough. Let's go. No! You want to play more than me, don't you? Yep. After all, one of us has actively been studying for the past week. Well then, let's get going. Look at his basic bitch house. It seems like no one's home. Oh, yeah. I swear to God if something happens. My mom is usually home at this time. It's better this way, though. Now we get to be all alone. I'm sure that sounds better in his head. See, I'm safe because he actually mentioned it, so now it's not gonna happen. Come on, let's go to my room. Oh, God. Oh yeah, I've been to this house before. What am I talking about? Two stop jumping on me. This is a cooperative game. I didn't see you there. You pushed me off the cliff. Haha, <laughs> I got ya. Got him. Why does every game have to be competitive for you? You know what would be better score if we work together? It's more fun this way. I would have broke the controller. I honestly would have. Look at that really bad. Look at that Photoshop of the Mikasa and, and Annie. Whatever. Let's move on to the next one. Jess has the next level of fluid and we heard the front door being opened and shut. It's that girl. The very next second, Rear's parents began shouting at each other as though they were holding back to the arrived home. Oh, great. Domestic. Oh, goddamn. Of course, they're going at it now. Did something happen? I don't know what the hell happened. They're always talking about something. They never seem to run out of material. The voices of Riri, his parents continue to grow louder. This is kind of getting awkward. I should probably go home now. Stupid, 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 stupid. I hate living in this frithin house. I'm sick of it. Come on, let's go. Okay. You grabbed my hand and started walking. Don't touch me. Also, I wouldn't have gone out the front. I would have went outside through the window. Ryu stared at his parents angrily for a few seconds as he passed them by. Then we both went outside. I literally just jumped out the window and saved us all that trouble. You didn't have to walk me all the way home. I just wanted to get away from there. That, alright, that went too by fast. It's okay. It really isn't. They act like such idiots sometimes. Why does it keep doing that? It's okay, don't say anything. Just forget about what happened back there. Okay. Really. I should get going. I'll see you later. We can hang out sometime. Some more if you want. No, I want to be alone for a while. You see, you regret your decision. Alright, then I'll see you once exams start. Good luck to you as well. That must have felt like crap for him. Hope oh, feels better. You're right. The chubbier, the better. The chodier, the better. Extra forkin, uh, extra forkin, extra foreskin. I say. With all the excitement of for my day having passed by, I start to th th look up at the fucking ceiling. I hate how they write things in this game. No, I can't believe summer vacation is almost here. What the fuck? I had so much fun here. I never thought I'd make so many friends this easily. Oh, is this like a button? I'm gonna stick to clicking here. On the other hand, I spent so much time worrying about my friends and trying to be sociable that, huh, I, have any, I haven't had any time for myself. 
My entire school life has been me jumping from one person to the next, either listening to their problems or allowing them to create some for me. That's unfair. Even if friendship breeds conflict, I brought all, I brought all of this upon myself, and it's not as though they mean any harm. Besides, from tomorrow on, I'll have all the alone time I need. In the depths of study hell. Skip the whole week, skip the whole week, skip the whole week. Motherfuck. Scrumble, scrumble. You just, you just killed me now. My first day of full-on exam preparation and I'm already bored out of my mind. This is absolutely not how I wanted to spend my weekend. But the exams are one week away. But the exams are one week from today so I can't afford not to study. My character is not the Greek because everyone knows him. Not the other way around. Except for that girl with the glasses that apparently they're childhood friends or something. I just need to keep quit complaining and buckle down and study my ash off. I wonder what Megumi's doing. Who's Megumi? Fuck her. No brain, stop it. You shouldn't really know what she's doing. Just study. Back to work. And even if I don't think about distracting, and even, and don't even think about distracting my friend. Mm, mm, mm. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, holy shit, going down Sunday. <laughs> Captain's Frog, day three. After. Two days of isolation, I can feel myself succumbing to unnatural desires, surrounded by only books. I continue my studies of human culture, all the while longing for human content. To feel the touch and smell of another human being, all sensations I've yearned since my isolation began. Okay, I really need you to talk. I really need to talk to someone. All this studying is driving me insane. All this fucking dialogue is driving me insane. Fushiro, the white haired girl. Nope. We're all gonna get antisocial. Nope, I can't risk it. infecting her with my insanity. I'll just keep studying until I pass out. Oh, so each day is a person. Which one is Ryu, Yui, Ryu, Yui. The glasses. Oh, never mind. He is creepy. Everyone in this game is creepy. And the wizard dies at the end of the movie. Everyone saw it coming, but it was still mad when Megumi spoiled it for me. Okay. But enough about that. How was your day? Wait, what? Megumi spoiled something for him, so he's talking to her? Are you sure you're not just using me as a way to avoid study? You should, you should become a detective or something. Who is saying I'm not one already? I wouldn't be surprised. Now head back to your studio before I call the high authority, young man. Fine, Marky. Scribble, scrabble, scrabble, scribble. Wow, this is even more complicated than math. I need a break. Study, idiot. I'm gonna be getting grades up the ass. I wanna find out what happened with someone who already study. <laughs> Besides, I have plenty to do myself. Beating. Oh wait. I need to get my phone. Give me one second. Be right back. That was quick. It was freaking right underneath me and I didn't see it. That sounds about right, and if I apply this theory to my own life, then I can finally confirm how fucking bored I am. Me too! <laughs> I threw my book against the wall. Well, that was pointless and stupid. 
speaking of which, maybe I should have put one of the 125 tech that Rio sent me. Fuck, I might as well. I hope he gets abused or something. Though, a good friend would probably ignore Rio in that man's study. Rio. Dude, fully. What's up? I'm starting to feel get. I'm starting to get real stressed, man. Figured as much. You must have been hard at it. Send me so many of my texts. Yeah, sure. Yeah, by the way. Not that you need it. I'm the one who sh should be worried. You played video game the whole time, didn't you? No. Maybe just every night. Source. I know. I know I'm feeling stressed too. But nah. I'm sure you'll be fine. You always have faith in me. That's all I get from Jack and texting them back. After consulting real for a while, I inevitably returned to study and then finally went to bed. Bed, 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 bed. After waking, after awaking from what I could possibly conclude to be a study induced coma, I found myself at school sitting at my desk. Wow, the, the fucking dream. Alright, let's get to show in the room. Time to, as I look around the room, we're just always alone. What the heck? We'll do it. Could this be the exact already, however? They wouldn't let me see. Something isn't right. This eerie quiet here is almost as though. Are you scared? Huh? I looked over at the teacher's desk again and saw someone who looked exactly like me standing there. You again? Wait, I remember him from somewhere. Have I seen him in another dream? But if I know where I'm dreaming, then this means this is a lucid dream. You look stressed. This is really stressing you out. Exams. How juvenile. Is he mocking me? I bet you you wouldn't say that if I was with those stupid girls. What do you want from me? I'm really making sure you walk the right path. What the heck are you talking about, Willis? The truth. Alright, Full Metal. He may be onto something. He may be the creepy one. What a dream. I read that as a wet dream. Just what I need before my first day of exams. Alright, the time has come. You can do this, head deck. Good morning. Oh, I thought you would be depressed and killed yourself. So what's, what's so good about it? Today marks the first day of the dreaded exam. Don't be like that. Today's a fantastic day. You want to know why? I killed Yui. Because we're a day closer to summer break. Well, there's that. But most because I finally get to see you again. What? Calm down. I mean, it's only been one week. But it felt like an eternity. Next time you're in a full-on study mode, you have to call me at least one night, right? <laughs> no. Otherwise, I'll come to your house and make you sh uh, make sure you're all right. Source. Okay, I get it. Maybe it was a bit too much of a harm. But the next time, I'll lock myself up. I'll make sure to. And here he comes to take me with you. Uh, bitch. Don't be rude. To call you. It's good enough. Ha ha ha. This girl is scary. Anyway, we can worry about sleeping arrangements later. What? Just forget about everything. Let's focus on our exams. Yeah, you're right. You're throwing my ass off, you dumbass. I'll go to my desk now and study a bit more before the professor comes. Good luck, head luck. Good luck to you, too. What was that about sleeping arrangements? Exactly. Now that everyone's prepared, let's begin with the first exam. The teacher flooded... Well, as teachers let the cast me, we are focused on the table we put in front of us. Here goes nothing. Are they all sitting there or something? That's one down. Where's the go? Why do you have to go through it? Just skip the whole f fake scene of this.
It's all over. The exam's conquered at last until we start anew tomorrow. How many tests can you possibly have in, in, in the span of a week? Hello, Hideki. Here there, Shaw. Did you do... How did you do today? Not really sure. How about you? I say I'm in the same clue as if I to you. Maybe I did well. Maybe I crashed and burned. Haha, <laughs> I get that feeling every time you walk out of... I get that feeling every time you walk out of the thing. Yeah. Tomorrow will be repeat all over again. With that in mind, I should hurry home and cram a little bit more. Cram it in my... <laughs> Alright, I'll probably do the same. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Monster ripped her clothes off and Jesus Christ. Oh my god, Riz. do you really think we have time to talk about manga right now? That ain't manga, that's freaking hentai in manga form. I was getting into the really good and strangely sad part. How about we talk about this stuff? After we're done with the hell, as the tears roll down his face. The teachers are here anyway. Ah, crap. It's about to start. See, that's good. When you don't study, you can still pass the test. Shows you're a smart one. Almost done. Exams near to completion. I don't think I've ever studied for anything. Exam nearing completion. And that's the last one. My exams have been completed for yet another day. Just one day left and I'll be free at last. I thought they didn't have school Sunday. Hey you, I was having a problem with this question and the answer is 34. How did you know what question I was having difficulty with? Because I know you, you dicky. No, you don't. I'm just right. What are you doing anyway? I noticed that Yui was drawing in her notebook. I don't know, I'm bored. You really are in the exam sprint. You really are in the exam sprint, aren't you? No sooner had I said that the other teacher walked in. Come on, everybody. Today would be the day to screw up. My hair hurts. Hideki focus. It's over. The exam's over. My life can turn to relative normality at last. Just three days until the results feel school trip finally summer break. Oh, you laid the whole game out for me, then I know where to stop. Jesus Christ. You had a whole two days after that. I'm gonna save it right here. And we're gonna do something else because this game has given me all forms of uh, leprechaun. Alright, 
I'm gonna end it right here, but I'm gonna be back in a minute with something else.